discussing that in a moment, but first, we want you to help raise funds for animals in need by participating in National Cupcake Day. On February 23rd, you can bake, decorate, share, and eat cupcakes, all to benefit SPCAs and humane societies. Sounds like a good way to me. To get you started, our audience will take home a selection of Reynolds baking products. So and we'll drop in his basket for baking supplies as well after the show today. So let's get back to that quiche now. Yes. Wish you could smell it, okay? An onion <laughs> quiche in a potato crust. So that's the secret. It's that's a potato the secret, crust. the potato crust. Makes it gluten free, makes it happy for people with oh, celiac disease. Yes. And also because we're all, remember we're, shop, we're cooking out of our one grocery yes. um, bag? Right. Basket. I shop with that grocery basket all uh, the time. Aren't you the cutest thing when Paris. you shop? Yes. Do you wear a big hat? A uh, big giant. Um, nice. You should see my shoes. Uh, we, <laughs> we have some potatoes in that grocery bag. Right. And so we are making a quiche with the potatoes. Okay, so I've never done that. I love quiche. I love anything that's yeah. like a pie. Yes. So I, will I feel like I invented pies. this, but I, I don't think I really invented this, but my former sister in law uh, was celiac, so she could not eat gluten. Like, very dangerous for her to yeah. eat gluten. So she always came for brunch. So we started making this. This is great. It's so great. So you start with a whole, a couple of whole unpeeled potatoes. Yeah. I love that when Me you're too. unpeeled. The skin's good for you. The just wash it. Super good for you. Just give it a wash, and then you grate it. And then this is the this is the important part. Now, don't think you can skip this part. Okay, Do fine. not skip, Bruce. Don't skip this part. Don't skip it. You put all you that grated potato in your tea towel, and you squeeze out the water. Because oh. because you're going to be making a crust with this, you need this stuff to be dry, yeah. dry, 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 dry. Okay, so sense. then once you've got that, and it takes a couple of potatoes, I'm going to mix it in with, oh, this is going to get messy, people. This is going to be real. That's okay. In an egg white. All right. With one egg white. And actually, you know what? You're going to get your hands dirty here, so you may as well just go for it from just the start. Just So a little bit of egg white goes in there, and of course, there's a carton of eggs in our grocery basket. And then this is just my old friend, my nine inch uh, pie plate, which you probably all have. Yeah. So then this whole mess goes in goes there. Goes in here. And then here's the fun part. You shape it into a crust. I can't believe that's just two potatoes. That looks like a lot. It's like two and a half. You know what? A potato actually grates into it, quite a bit. A lot. Yeah, okay. quite a bit. That's great. So you kind of shape that into a lovely crust. You take the stuff off your fingers. Uh, you know, and then you wipe yourself down. And then you put it in the oven and bake it before you do anything. Before you fill it. So this is how it's yes. going to turn out. How, do you remember how long you bake it for? 30 minutes. At 30 quite minutes. a high temperature. Okay. Then Perfect. you reduce the temperature of the oven. Also very important. Okay. If you're at Bruce's house, check the thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can put that beautiful thing down. And now I'm just going to make a really simple filling. And all again, right. this is all the stuff that we had in our grocery bag. So we had peppers, we had garlic, yes, we, we had did. onions. So if you could just stir all that stuff around. And obviously, if you're mixing it up, you can use any kind of lovely little vegetable in here. Whatever Fennel you have in your good. little beautiful French basket oui. from your grocery shopping, yeah, you go sûr. in there. Although this whole thing has been calculated quite specifically, so maybe don't use the ingredients you're not supposed to. Well, if you're following our grocery list, like yes. if you've ripped it out yeah. and uh, you're following that grocery list, please just follow along. Just follow it. Don't freestyle. <laughs> don't freestyle. Or, you know, if you want to freestyle, don't call me. Because <laughs> you might sorry. be out of ingredients for another recipe. We're going to use a, just a couple of eggs. That's really just three eggs. Okay. Um, if it was me, I would have taken the egg yolk that from the that, and I put, you know mm, what I mean? So, would have yeah. done that. And of course, Parmesan, you can't go wrong. Right. We've already got that Parmesan. And then please, if you would, so kindly, dump away. Yeah. Uh, how about some salt and pepper? You can't go wrong with salt and pepper. A little bit of that. And you have the filling that you were going to put exactly. on your beautiful potato crust. Exactly. And then this just because now I've reduced the temperature of the oven to about 350. And this will cook for about another 30 minutes. So this one is not the 15 minute meal. Yeah. But of course there's lots of um, what we call idle time when this is baking. When yeah. you can be throwing on the laundry, doing the homework, uh, watching last night's whatever you need to watch. It's still not super intense is what you're saying. It's just taking a little was, bit that longer. Was, that was pretty uh -huh. Yeah, throw that, that in the oven good. and ta-da, that's ta -da, what you get. And then you have that. Cityline.ca. Oh man, that looks great.